Jim Harbaugh might be the most polarizing figure in college football, maybe in all of sports. His fans and his detractors are both legion. But one thing's certain, he's never boring. If worms had machine guns, then birds wouldn't be scared of them. Well, it's Judge Judy, you know, a lot. Darth Vader, you said, is your guy? It's my boy. Nine years ago, 28 years after his Michigan playing career ended and just two years after leading the 49ers to the Super Bowl, Jim Harbaugh returned to Ann Arbor. How do you feel your uh, your personality translates to the college game? Uh, you know, I, I, I feel like it's the only personality I have. You know? <laughs> if you have a relative, like a, an uncle or something that other people think is kind of nuts or it says some weird things, but you've known him forever and you just love him. That's kind of like how Michigan people are with Jim Harbaugh. At the time Harbaugh was hired in 2014, the Michigan program had lost its way. The Wolverines had lost 10 of their last 11 games against Ohio State. Touchdown, Buckeyes! But after dropping his first five against the Buckeyes, Harbaugh's team has now won three in a row. It's intercepted! Michigan will beat Ohio State! In the last three years, the Wolverines are 38 and three overall. The Wolverines deliver once again. But as the winds have piled up, so have the controversies. Michigan is self-imposing a three-game ban for head coach Jim Harbaugh. The ban is a result of alleged violations Harbaugh committed during the COVID-19 dead period. The story that has come out is that this was over Jim Harbaugh buying a cheeseburger for a recruit. The NCAA was so angry that it all got distilled to just a cheeseburger that they actually released a statement. And in that statement, they said, Michigan infractions case related to impermissible and off-campus recruiting during the COVID dead period in impermissible coaching activities, not a cheeseburger. On October 18th, less than a month after Harbaugh returned to the sidelines, another story broke. The NCAA is investigating Michigan, where a staffer allegedly scouted future opponents in person at games, which would be a violation of NCAA rules. ESPN has confirmed that over the last three seasons, Connor Stallions purchased tickets to more than 35 road games at 17 venues around the country including at the home stadiums of 12 Big Ten rivals and those of multiple playoff contenders from other conferences, with the goal of recording opponent signals and decoding them. In a statement, Harbaugh said, I have no awareness of anyone on our staff having done that or having directed that action. Could he have known? Yeah, I, mean, I can't say that he did or didn't know. But is it possible he didn't know? It's absolutely very possible that he did not know how Connor Stallions was getting this information. On November 10th, the Big Ten, under pressure from Michigan's conference rivals, announced that Harbaugh would be suspended for the last three games of the season. The university then pushed back. In response, Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Board of Regents filed for a temporary restraining order in court Michigan and Harbaugh were extremely aligned on this one that they were going to fight it. But then new evidence came to light. According to multiple sources, the NCAA had informed Michigan that it obtained evidence suggesting a booster helped fund the sign-stealing operation. Meanwhile, Michigan had received evidence suggesting linebackers coach Chris Partridge tampered with the investigation. Michigan went from planning to go to court to accepting Jim Harbaugh's three-game suspension yesterday and firing linebackers coach Chris Partridge today. In Harbaugh's absence, the Wolverines kept winning. Oh, thank Coach Harbaugh. I love you, man. I love the shit out of you, man. This is for you. Michigan's season has proven what we've all known about college athletics. Winning is a powerful drug and people will do anything and they will push aside any optics issues in order to win. Michigan defeats Iowa for their third straight Big Ten title. Love him or hate him, two more wins and Jim Harbaugh will claim the first national title of his career, Michigan's first since 1997. When you get Harbaugh, you get the full Harbaugh. That's really where Michigan is 
both reaping the benefits and paying the price of how Jim Harbaugh's mind operates. Give me something.